Hello everybody, this is the second guide of using MidJourney. I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks and other things that will be useful for you when creating art in MidJourney Discord bot. All right, so we're going to start with one thing. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, it's called settings. Uh, the setting options, if you type forward slash and you can see different options, you see view and adjust your personal settings. So if you type settings and we press enter, you can see here the defaults. Now, basically these things can be set uh, using uh, parameters, but here you have the option to do this as default. And uh, you know, you don't have a great degree of precise control, but again, these sets are, are, are available for you if you just want to uh, use it as default for your renders. So for example, you can by default use uh, Mid Journey version three, or me uh, journey version 2 you can just tap it and it will change and you can see current suffix is 2 so this is the default if i press 3 it's going to change to 3 now 3 doesn't show anything because 3 is the default anyway so it doesn't show but if i press 1 you can see v1 version 1 All right now this is for stylizing uh the default is uh, 2500 if you choose low you can see s which is for style uh, style is uh, again, you can set it to lower number if you do it manually, but again, if I do here, it's default, so it actually doesn't show, but it's 2,500, I'm pretty sure. If you do high, 5,000, if you do very high, 20,000, all right? Uh, quality, there's a base quality of one. Uh, it's actually the Q parameter, you can actually add it. If you do half, so it's 0.5, it will be less costly. Uh, it will generate le less of a quality image uh, by default. This is base, again, it's one, high quality, two. It takes even more time to render, keep this in mind, sometimes significantly longer. Uh, this is relaxed mode, fast mode. Uh, when you go and subscribe, you're gonna get fast mode uh, until you exhaust it, and then you're gonna move to relaxed mode. This is just based on the available queue, so it will be slower. Sometimes, uh, maybe if you want to render things fast, uh, for whatever reason, if you want to save your fast, uh, you can just change to relax mode by just typing relax, and uh, it will just change to relax mode. You can change back to fast if you type fast, all right? But by default, you can set it, for example, if you just want every uh, input that you put to this uh, to mid journey to be relaxed uh, mode you can do it here or type it as i showed you here to change it uh, another thing is that uh, uh, you have the option to light scale and regular upscale again regular upscale we have more details but if you want when you render images to be light upscale by default when you upscale them by that i mean going here and pressing upscale, if I press upscale here, it will by default go and do the regular upscale. But if I want to do the light upscale without adding all those extra details, so something looks similar to what you see in the thumbnail without adding those extra details, you're gonna choose a light upscale. Uh, the other thing is public mode or private mode. Uh, if you go, if I click private mode, uh, it will actually ask me to subscribe, all right? Because this is uh, additional charge uh that you pay regardless of the other subscription you play plus 20 dollars a month as of the time I'm making this video uh, so you can actually make it private so when basically what you render all your uh you know the keywords your art generated is going to be private and not public all right so we're just going to close it here never mind all right so these are the options for you for in the settings just be aware of that if you kind of uh, want to focus on certain defaults and you know you don't want to change it every time this is the way to do it i mean typing it manually now the next one is a tip for you for uh getting inspiration now if you go to midjourney.com and you sign up with your discord uh you're gonna get into a dashboard now there are different options here but right now i'm gonna focus just on the community feed actually what makes midjourney uh such a uh, a great uh, AI art uh, generator is that it actually had a really nice social features, community features. One of them is the ability to see the community feed 
which you can actually browse and see their hot rising new and top arts uh, that people are actually posting. This is a great place to uh, do several things. First of all, just get inspired. Of course, you don't have to create the exact thing, just get inspired uh, based on what you see, uh, maybe combine some things in your art. But for me, the most important thing is actually observing the keywords that actually led to the image. There are many keywords. If you sometimes it's not full, you can actually see here. But if you tap it, you can see what keywords phrases are actually being used to create this image. All right. So you can see what people really like, for example, and try to get something that and combine it with your art. So I tap and I can actually just go and see Kate Vagon, Victorian era. For example, I use Victorian era a lot in some of my arts that I did. This lead to very, very beautiful and unique results. All right. And some keywords that might lead to something that may be useful for you, like symmetrical, concept art. Right, manga style and other things may be related to things that you weren't even aware about. All right, this image, for example, let's scroll down full body portrait. It didn't render full body though. Uh, all right, see many different keywords, and this is a great place to learn those keywords and what actually they lead to me journey to render. This is very, very important because this allows you to actually learn and speak the language of me journey which is not straightforward by the way as you try to experiment you know sometimes you need to be more structured with how you describe what you want to achieve and uh you can see actually what works what doesn't work uh and this is a great place to learn it all right now another thing you can do in on mejourney.com when you log in in the dashboard is your ability to see the archive and basically browse through all the different art that you actually made. So you can quickly just scroll down and find something that you like, maybe continue from there. And if you tap it, you're gonna get more information about the keywords used, same as you do in the main gallery. But this is a really great way to just browse through all your crazy creation and see uh, you know, all the different things you created. Now, another tip for you is uh, when you go and try to go to the newcomers room and you know other rooms that usually this is a place where many people generate their images uh, the problem is that if you type something it will after it renders it will just drop down but by the time it drops down and when it's ready by that i mean to the end of the chat many others will actually start showing so it's kind of confusing but if you want a just a private place where you can create things there are two ways to do it and i'm going to explain to you here how to do it all right, uh, the first thing is uh, if you go, if you go here to the, again, this is the official Mid Journey. Uh, if you look to the sidebar, you can see Mid Journey bot, right? Uh, what we're gonna do that, if we right click on it, we can actually invite it to our own server. Sorry, uh, we left click on it, not right click, left click, add to server. And this allows you to choose a server that you want to invite the boat too, all right? So we can do that and invite it, and then we can just put it on our own server and just type everything there. So we have our own place without seeing all the other people's uh, input. Now, another option basically is to uh, right click and then choose message. But, and when you choose message, you're gonna actually just talk with the bot, like you talk with a friend and you have a different window and you it's only you and the bot and basically you can just type everything there and you have a private space without other user input and images showing there. So that's another option. Now, some people ask me how much you can actually use. Well, basically the usage is uh, metered using GPU hours. All right, uh, you can see that they said, uh, this is from GitHub, uh, Midjourney GitHub. One hour is roughly 60 image generation or upscale command and roughly 200 image variation commands. And they say here, right now, again, this might change, keep this in mind by the time we see it, we give 15 GPU hours a month of fast. I already exhausted it, that's why I'm on relax now. With the standard plan and uh, with the standard plan, and 200 GPU minutes, again, not hours, minutes a month with the basic plan. 
all right so we can see that each hour roughly 60 image generation or upscale command all right and roughly 200 image variation commands so this is actually what you get with the different plans in terms of how many images you roughly can generate uh, using the different plans now another option for you which is very convenient is uh, enabled by default that you're going to get the results and when the results are finished sometimes you want to do many things and don't want to wait to do other things and you want to get the results uh, when they are finished you can actually tell Midjourney to do it using prefer. So if you do forward slash prefer, and we're going to do, a, you see, whether or not automatically set, this is a kind of the switch. So if I just choose it, and if I just click it now, we're just going to switch to off and on, depends on the situation. So uh, if I wanted, if I click it again, you see disabled. If I run it again, it's enabled. Right? I think there's an option to write true, but I tried writing true several times and you just change it back and forth. So this is how you enable and disable auto messaging to notify you and send you the results as a direct message. So this is it for this second part with tips and tricks to make you uh, kind of uh, know more of the features available for you so you'll be more productive and uh, get better results. And I'm going to make more videos, so make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, and press the bell button to get notified when I release those videos. And uh, see you soon on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.